And it's only appropriate that in the home office of spring break, the youngest Ranger forwards made the most noise and had the most fun in South Florida. Inside our Delta MSG studios, John Giannone alongside Mike Rupp. We're going to have some fun. 4-3 the final Rangers over the Florida Panthers, a game which the Rangers trailed by two after one in one of the worst first periods they've had in a while. But it was the line that provided so much energy and so much anticipation for the Rangers during the playoffs last year. The line of Heedle centering Lafreniere on the left and Kako on the right. That made the difference tonight, Mike. Yeah, and they, they needed someone to because, like you said, this is two games now and, uh, you know, that they – have not had good first period so they you need a fire starter who's going to give us that spark and this heat line did it all night long it was a second period on i would say uh they really started taking taking control they got a little more ice time as well and you see right here phil peel moving your feet when he moves his feet he can make a lot of things happen up without on that ice to open up a lot of ice in the process and that's what they do with those legs with the reach of their uh you know poke checks they create turnovers and they make things happen and just right here, pressure, great turnovers, have good support. And then they let their skill take over. And this is a lot of a lot of passes in a little area right here. Then there's a great attack to the net by Kako, uh, from Capo Kako. And uh, I just thought this this line really just was a, they set the pace for the rest of the game. And Jacob Truba, uh, he did a great job getting a beautiful feed and just a fantastic goal here by uh, Laugh, and uh, I, they just didn't stop. They just kept going, kept giving this team the spark they needed, and I like the way they managed the puck. A lot of times it was it was Kako just making the right plays off the wall, and this one springs Heedle to go in. He buries it with a beautiful shot. So uh, again, puck management, getting on the other team, creating turnovers. I mean, that's the sparks you need, and it all came from that line. Yeah, and that line scores all three of them in the same game for just the second time in their respective Rangers careers. The other time it happened was back on December 7th of this season in Las Vegas, but they were not on the same line that night. Lafreniere and Kaka were playing with Mika Zibanejad. Heedle was centering the second line that night. But for Lafreniere, he ends an eight game drought without it a point. Heedle gets to his 21st goal of the season, Kako his 14th, and you see the ice time for Lafreniere and Heedle both over 14 minutes, Capo Kako a little bit less because of all the penalties in the first period, but they succeeded together on a night where, again, the Rangers fell behind 2-0 in a first period where they managed only three shots on goal, and then in the second period, they had 21, and that was such a difference in the way things went between the first period and the second period. Capo Caco's goal made a huge difference because not only did it get the Rangers on the board, Mike, but it made them believe that the team that has given up so many goals this season, the Florida Panthers, especially recently, were going to be susceptible. We're going to go inside the film room, and it's powered by HP and CDW. We're going to take a special look at how this thing developed and how it ended up going in. It was a great decision being made here, and it's not about changing the game by stretching and getting outside yourself. Look at the puck management right here. You got Snyder snap Snapping this up to Kako. He's dumping it in. It's a 2-0 game, but he knows the right play here is to send this around the wall to Phil Pedal, who's going to get right on it. Pressure. Great support from Laugh coming over. And then you're going to see great support from Kako coming over, too. That support allows Harper to pinch, creates the turnover. And then it's just, again, the skill taking over in this. It, it, that skill doesn't happen without the right decisions early on, as you see Heedle give this over to Laugh and then back to Heedle. And then Kako's in the background just sniffing around and sees this. All the eyes are facing Bobrovsky. He locates this puck and gets a diving goal here. So that changed the game in a big way. It all started from doing the right things with the puck. And I think that's a great sign when you have this younger line doing the right things. Yeah, and it was midway through the hockey game nearly, so that made it 2-1. Lafreniere scored late in the second to make it 2-2. Then the stage was set for a third period. We talked about it going into the third. The Rangers at that point had been tied after two 21 times times this season they lost the third period therefore losing in regulation twice 14 2 and 5 so third periods have been theirs especially in this situation and it took only one minute and 22 seconds for Patrick Kane to strike yeah and Patty Kane uh, he had some shots he had some opportunities in this game and it was great because he's funneling pucks to the net and you see Kane coming in here and he doesn't have an option here he's trying for the pass back door but he kept everything's funneling towards the cage and you're going to see Kane coming in here, firing one up high on, on Bobrovsky. Eventually, 
you're gonna get you're gonna create some stuff, right? You get some shots here. You're gonna, you're gonna create some offense for rebounds. You had an almost uh, clear cut breakaway. Maybe could have been a penalty on that one. And this one is just maybe some of the results you get. You throw it towards the net enough. Sometimes you're gonna get a lucky bounce. And Kane does this. It looks like he's going to try back door to Panarin, and it goes off of. Uh, Aaron Ekblad and in the net so uh, or sorry Carter Verhage and in the net so I, I love it just keep it simple keep it going there and stay persistent and he got rewarded with yeah, it. Yeah and the goal was a milestone in several ways for Patrick Kane his 20th of the season it sure was it was also his 450th NHL goal and look at this 1,233 points that passes Phil Housley and now trails only Mike Madano among all NHL players who were born in the United States.